hey, where's those, is that all the big wines there, you know, the big ones for $7.99, the 1.5 liters of the, of the Merlot Cabernet Blend, 1.5, you know, the ones from Chile, you know, I mean, is that where all the Chilean wines are back there? Well, that's some of them, but you know, there's a lot of countries that we just peg as not being as quality wines, only for your everyday big format wines, and uh, we need to start remembering them. Hi, I'm Larry Baker. I am a certified level two sommelier and senior wine and spirit specialist here at ABC Fine Wine and Spirits in beautiful downtown North Miami, Florida. I'd say there's a handful of countries that somewhere along the line just hit a brick wall in marketing, in their reputation, in people's mind, in the consumer's mind, where they just peg them as, you know, I would say Australia is one of them. Uh, when you think of Australian wine, you think of Shiraz, you think of, you know, the commercial, you know, the $4, $5, $7 bottle, and you don't think about the really great wines in the $15 or $12 or $20 or $30 price range or even higher that are being made quality wines in Australia. I would think Greece. I don't even think uh, we barely have one or two Greek wines or any retailer has that, but yet some of the greatest wines in the world come from the country of Greece. South Africa, we're starting to build back that section, but people go, no, I don't want any pinotage, but they haven't had a good pinotage and there's more to South Africa. Argentina, everybody knows. I don't care where you're from, Argentina, and they think Malbec, even though most of my South American wine drinkers, they drink the original Malbec from France. So I occasionally go in, I still think they great, uh, there's some great wines coming out of Argentina. A lot of French uh, winemakers and uh, owners are buying property in Argentina. But what about the country, when I say Chile, Chile, you automatically think, most consumers think of that, you know, those. There used to be a couple of hot ones like Purple Angel out there, and uh, it's still a great wine uh, made by Montes. Uh, but most people just think, you know, for the big 1.5 liter, that's my Chilean wine section. Even some American wines on the back will say using grape from product of Chile. So that's going to be a sequence, I think, in a few weeks, even in my reviews. Wines from countries that you really shouldn't forget about that make some really good quality wine. And sometimes you just find a really, really good family estate bottle producer and we carry the whole line and you can go right down the line and find some affordable stuff. So starting off with some of the wines of Chile that uh, we want to do, uh, that uh, I want to talk about, is uh, some grapes, starting off with the Sauvignon Blanc. Uh, this is, uh, is going to be a few wines we're going to show from Casa del Bosque. Casa del Bosque is a great producer. Everything on the back of their bottle will tell you that the grapes are grown, the, the, the wine is produced and bottled at the winery. This is a 12 buck uh, you know, Sauvignon Blanc. If you like that uh, Chilean style, uh, I'm noticing that little bit of jalapeno pepper, good acidity, good crisp clean wine. Uh, uh, even my assistant uh, sales consultant uh, and, and, and sommelier Erwin, uh, he took for a big family party, he, re he, took, he cleaned out the shelves of uh, all the Casa del Bosque wine because he knows, and he's Chilean, and he knows that this is quality Chilean wine. From Casablanca Valley, Casa del Bosque, we're going to show you a few from them that get really high scored and really affordable quality Sauvignon Blanc Chilean style. Love it. Um, number two from them is Carmenere. Carmenier, one of the original six grapes of Bordeaux, France, uh, and for years during Philoxifer in the 1800s, uh, they hid those grapes from disease in South America, like Chile, and for years the French thought that Chileans were making great Merlot, and they confused it. I don't know how they did that, but it was Carmenier all along, and now uh, Bordeaux is growing back. Uh, uh, there'll be 100% Carmeniers coming out of Bordeaux, France, and they'll be blended back in there because it's one of the original six uh, grapes that went into uh, Bordeaux on the red wine is Carmenier. But now it's all about Chile, again from Casa del Bosque. Uh, this is their reserve of Carmenier for 12 99 has that good fruit, good acidity, and good bell pepper kind of notes in the background. No, not strong bell pepper, but perfect for a Carmenere. Really good fruit, again, grown, produced, everything bottled, the grapes from Casa del Bosque. Even had a, a guest who actually went to Chile and they felt the passion I did because they visited this particular uh, producer and they said, unbelievable. Uh, now they feel what it was like to walk those vineyards and things like that and they see why I get so passionate about it. 
James Suckling, when he first reviewed this Casa del Bosque Pinot Noir from Casablanca Valley, and I think Chile makes great Pinot Noir. They make some mediocre Pinot Noir, but this is serious Pinot Noir, and he actually wrote in the review, this is real Pinot, and scored it like 95 points. So uh, this is Casa del Bosque from the, uh, again, Casablanca Valley. 100% no blending, so if you really want to get out of the, uh, the California blending styles of Pinot Noir, for $14.99 you have a, as James Suckling would say, real Pinot Noir and it'll give you enough fruit so you can withdraw off of that fruity style, forward style from California and taste how great a Chilean quality wine for $14.99 which is less than what a lot of people pay for blended loaded with sugar Pinot Noirs out of California. So this is a great Pinot Noir, real Pinot from Casa del Bosque and I'm, I'm leaving them with this final one, their Reserva Cabernet Sauvignon. Might be one of the best Cabernet Sauvignons I've tasted in this store. 2016 was the vintage I tasted. I think I reviewed it on, uh, on uh, if you look back at earlier blogs, but I just wanted to mention this Casa del Bosque Reserva, 100% um, uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, no blending, is silky, smooth, rich, it's just got layers of dark fruits and just smooth integrated tannins and for $16.99 you're getting quality quality wine from the country that you thought was only big 1.5 or box wines or things like that. Uh, okay. um, there's a, a, a great great producer, family producer, uh, 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 <clears throat> this is Masal, the Masal in 1945, another 100% Cabernet coming from the Rappel Valley. Uh, this is a class wine for like 19 bucks in this wine. Every time I, I've tasted this wine over and over, it's just handcrafted, boutique style, uh, and uh, it's a wine that you really should seriously look at. Uh, on the retail side, it's only available at ABC. It's a source and certified wine. And uh, Masal 1945 Cabernet Sauvignon, you will remember this Cabernet. You've paid $40, $50, $60, $60, just like that French one I told you about. This is value coming out of uh, Chile, the Rappel Valley, by a family that's been around for a long time, since 1845. Coming out to my favorite wine in the whole Chilean section, it's organic, so don't panic, it's organic. From its own designated origin called La Lol. I've also reviewed this wine. Arucano, Arucano. Arucano is a Carmenere Syrah. Uh, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon and Cabernet Franc blend. It is 100% organic from the Valley of La Lol. La Lol, like LOL, laugh out loud, put it twice and you got La Lol, and that's the valley. Um, Aracano, I think, believe it's named after an old Indian tribe uh, there in there, but this is uh, its own area. The La Lol Valley is an actual designated origin protected area, and that's where all this fruit comes from. It's very well bound. It's fruit, I think it's one of my, one of, one of my top five wines in the entire store. And again, 100% organically grown, certified organic in Chile. And this is a 1999 wine that will absolutely blow you away and a crowd pleaser to drink. So, you know, <clears throat> remember that you can find all these wines information by even just searching Chile under our Chilean wines and find all these wines and just look at those Casa del Bosque wines. The whole entire line is top-notch wines, not, not a loser in the bunch ever. Uh, that is it. by going to our website at abcfws.com. And uh, of course, you can hit me up with any questions about any wine, especially if you want some recommendations on Chilean wine, uh, by following this wine blog and putting your email address and getting lots of ways to contact me. Remember, wine is not for snobs. It's, it's for everyday people like you and me. And even though it's getting hot, I feel like I am, feel a little chilly. <laughs>